Let us look at some of the reactions to produce hydrogen from the acids. In order to get hydrogen from the acids, we'll have to use dilute acids. So you see every way we are writing dilute, dilute, dilute. And the first acid we have taken is hydrochloric acid, that is HCl. So you will see one, two, three, four reactions with dilute HCl and five, six, seven, eight, they are with dilute sulfuric acid. We are taking active metals, that is Mg, Al, Zn and Fe. The same thing, Mg, Al, Zn and Fe, first with hydrochloric acid and then with sulfuric acid. Because Mg is an active metal, it will displace hydrogen because in the activity series, magnesium is above hydrogen. So magnesium can displace hydrogen and it will combine with Cl forming MgCl2. So immediately we'll balance this to balance this Cl and we will have hydrogen up arrow. This is a gas. So this is the first reaction. Now you may be asked to complete the reactions like this. So if you have to complete the reactions, remember the active metal will displace hydrogen and it will form its salt. So Al will form AlCl3 which is aluminium chloride. And so we will have hydrogen liberated here. Yeah. Now can you see over here, if I write here 3, then hydrogen becomes 3. But hydrogen here is a gas, it is diatomic gas. So I will take multiple of these two, that is 6, I'll write here Al plus 6 HCl. So that way I will have AlCl3, but two of them. So it will give me 6 Cl here. And we have 6 H that will give me 3 H2. So 6 H here. How many Al's do we see? Two. So we'll write here 2 and our reaction is balanced. Look at your zinc. Zinc also being active metal, it is going to displace H. So zinc will take chlorine and it will form its chloride ZnCl2. So immediately to balance this, we'll write here 2 and hydrogen will be displaced as a gas. Look at this Fe. Fe also will displace H. It will form a chloride that is FeCl2. Immediately we'll balance this and we'll write here H2 which is a gas. Now let us look at the sulfuric acid. Mg again will displace H so it will form MgSO4 that is the salt of Mg magnesium sulfate and this hydrogen will be displaced as a gas. Same thing happens with Al. Al will displace H and it will combine with SO4. So it will be Al2SO4 thrice and plus it will liberate H2. Let us check it out. Al2. So we'll have to take 2 Al here. Let us check out with SO4. Now SO4 is thrice here. So we will have to write 3 SO4s here. So SO4s are balanced here and then I have 3 H2 so that will be 3 H2 here and now Al2 so 2 Al will balance this. Let us look at the next reaction with sulfuric acid. Zinc with H2SO4. Zinc is going to displace H. It will form ZnSO4 and plus it will be H2 and that is up arrow. Same thing for Fe. Fe being active metal, it will displace H. It will form FeSO4 and H will be displaced as a gas. Now you will see that here we have taken HCl as the acid and here in this lot I have taken the same metals but I have taken sulfuric acid. Now why is HNO3 that is dilute nitric acid why is it not used? Because this is going to be a strong oxidizing acid. So it is going to liberate nascent oxygen and that when it combines with hydrogen 
it is going to give you hydrogen with oxygen it is going to give you h2o so i cannot use hno3 to obtain hydrogen as we have with the other acids everywhere we were able to obtain hydrogen with active metals and hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid so which are the two metals which will react with HNO3 to liberate H? That is hydrogen and that is Mg and Mn. Mg reacts with HNO3 but we need it as cold and 1% dilute. Only in that condition Mg will take NO3. So we will get MgNO3 twice and plus it will liberate hydrogen. So hydrogen is 2 here. So H and H is balanced. NO3 are twice. So this as well is balanced. Same thing for Mn. Mn also will take HNO3 but the same condition. What is the condition? It should be cold with 1% dilute. HNO3, Mn will combine with NO3, it will form MnNO3 twice and plus it will liberate H2. So NO3, there are two of them. So we'll write here two. So hydrogen also is balanced 2H and 2H and here NO3 also are twice. So we have this reaction balanced. So remember with HNO3 only with Mg and Mn you can obtain hydrogen but not with aluminium, not with zinc, not with aluminium, not at all. Okay, so this is how we will get hydrogen from acids. And what we have to remember that active metal plus dilute acid is going to give us a salt and plus hydrogen gas which is the salt here it was a nitrate here it was a nitrate here it was a chloride everywhere and here it was sulfate everywhere okay that is how we produce hydrogen from the acids okay hope you have understood these reactions thank you for watching